Hey guys, what's up? It's your man Pete. And I wanted to share with some of you who are thinking seriously of buying a condo. And I wanted to clarify exactly how much money you need to prepare in order to get through the door. And I get this question a lot, especially from people who are coming from outside the city or who are new here. And while many of you may already be saving and socking up your acorns, oftentimes buyers really don't know exactly how much they need to have ready, even after they've got the keys. You know, things like taxes, lawyers, or even a home inspection if necessary. So I'm going to break it down for you step by step and show you the math so you don't get blindsided and you know exactly how much you need to come up with for your first property to make sure that you're ready, like you're actually ready. So we'll get into that right after this, guys. Okay, so I know a lot of you out there are super excited about investing in property. You want to get started. You want to start making money passively and you don't want to miss out on all the action. And like the old adage says, the best time to plant a tree was yesterday. And while I do encourage people to start buying and investing properties as soon as it's practically possible for them, however, I do encourage and tell people when they're not actually ready. In fact, I actually get phone calls from some of you who watch my show and you explain your situation to me and I basically say to you, take more time, save up some more money so that you don't put yourself in a bad position just because you're buying property. You know, because it takes a lot of money. It's a pretty big responsibility and it's a long-term investment. And so if you're having trouble saving money, you're accumulating debt, or your job is not even stable, in those cases, I would say take care of that aspect of your life first. Make sure it's stable before you lock yourself into a long-term investment. But nonetheless, you gotta start somewhere, right? So y'all set? Ready? Let's go. Now, most of you already probably know about the down payment part because you're probably in the process of saving and building up your bank account right now. And while the typical amount is 20% as a down payment for your property, what some people don't know is that you can actually get into a property for as low as 5% down, as long as you qualify for something called mortgage insurance. And this is also otherwise known as a high ratio mortgage. And while I won't get into the details and the specifics of that type of situation, I will put a link below where you can read more about that from the CMHC. But it basically means that even with 5% down, you can actually get into a property. So if the property is $500,000 and you wanna try 5% down, all you need is $25,000 to get into the property. But most buyers here don't prefer to go that route. They'd rather take the time save up the 20% so that they don't have to pay this mortgage insurance. And everybody's situation is different. So some people, they want to wait. Some people, they want to get in as quickly as possible because they know it's hard for them to save money, but yet they still qualify for the high ratio mortgage. Okay, so 20% is your typical number. So in this case, it would be $100,000 for a 500K property. And the bank or the lender, if you qualify, is putting up 80% or $400,000 towards your property. In essence, it's almost like you're partnering up to purchase this condo. So 20% and 80% put it together, you got 100%. Easy, right? Okay, awesome. So now we're gonna move on to some additional things that most beginners are not aware of that they need to prepare for. And the next big expense you gotta get ready for is the land transfer tax. So if you're looking to buy a condo in the city of Toronto, in Toronto city bounds, you're gonna be paying two land transfer taxes. One called the TLTT or the Toronto land transfer tax. And then there's the other one called PLTT, which is the provincial land transfer tax. And on a $500,000 property, it comes out to $12,950. So now you've got an extra tax bill of $12,950 on top of your $100,000 in cash that you've prepared. Holy bleep, that's a lot of tax. The lawyers will help you make that calculation, but I'm here to sort of mentally get you prepared so that you don't have any hidden surprises later. But wait, hold up. There's good news if you're a first time buyer. You've never owned property anywhere in the world in your lifetime, then you will qualify for these tax breaks and rebates and credits. As a first time buyer, you will save $4,475 on the Toronto land transfer tax, and that bill goes down to all the way to $2,000 for you. And then the PLTT, the provincial land transfer tax, which was originally $6,475, is now reduced by 4,000, bringing you to $2,475. So as a first time home, buyer you just saved a whack load of money you've saved 
$8,475 and all you have to pay is $4,475. That's a huge savings. What a great government we have. But it's also one of the reasons why it's making the market so hot here in the city. And I should say that if you were to buy a 500k property outside of Toronto Bounds, you know, let's say in Vaughan, Richmond Hill, Markham, Durham region, Peel region, like Mississauga, you don't pay the Toronto portion of that land transfer tax, only the Ontario one. So $2,475 on a 500k property. But I think in this video, we wanna focus on condos inside the city, inside Toronto. So now your total cash that you need to prepare is $104,475. Okay, so now on to the next item. Now, this is not an absolute essential item for condos, but as a real estate salesperson, we can never advise against the home inspection because many of you are not experienced in dealing with properties. And so it's really great for educational purposes. And sometimes it's worth the money just to pay for it and do it one time so that you can better understand the property that you're going to purchase, what to look out for, what's broken right now, and what has the potential to break in the future. And obviously we would recommend having some sort of contingency fund, so money saved up on the side or maybe you could just use money that you have in your savings to fix things that break down over time and while many condo buyers don't opt to do the home inspection for a first timer we would still recommend and the cost of it is somewhere in the range of 350 to 500 dollars depending on the size of the property okay so now the tally is up to a hundred and four thousand nine hundred and seventy five dollars and then again a lot of newbies don't know this but you need a lawyer to actually close your real estate deal so they have to do things like run title search they have to register your property they have to help you buy title insurance and there's other fees and disbursements involved especially if you're getting a mortgage from a bank and they will also even look over the status certificate to let you know if you should go ahead and purchase this property or not but I would say the average cost in somewhere in the range of 1500 to 2500 so let's say an average of $2,000. You can find some that will do it cheaper and then you can find some that will do it for more. So $2,000 on top of the tally, we are at $106,975. That's almost an extra $7,000 that you didn't account for. And in a short amount of time, sometimes that's hard to save up for and prepare. And while you may not have to pay for everything in cash, like the home inspection, you can always put that on credit card, but I'm here just to help you be more fiscally responsible so that you're mentally prepared that this is how much I actually have to save not just the down payment. And then of course you need to be able to qualify for the mortgage as well. So you need all of these expenses in order to get yourself through the door in your first condo. Oh, and I should also mention, I always get this question all the time too, is that do you have to pay your realtor when you're purchasing a property? So you're hiring a buying agent to work with you, show you properties, prepare the offer, negotiate, walk you through that entire process. Do you have to pay this person? The answer is no. You don't have to pay a buying agent anything. Their service to you, from your perspective, is absolutely free. So if you have somebody who's charging you ahead of time to start showing you properties and helping you to secure a deal, they might not be doing things very ethically and you may have to consider working with someone else who's a little bit more professional and who's not charging you directly, doing what they're supposed to do anyways. All right, that's it guys. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope it gave you a better perspective on how much you need to save and actually be ready because I do see people many times, you know, they're, they've saved up money and they just get so excited. Don't worry, I totally get it. I absolutely understand. And while I'm not saying you need to have all that money ready and prepared before you start looking at properties, but it's just to give you an idea of the hidden expenses that you might not be aware of so that you don't get shocked because you have to give a really, really big check to your lawyers to close that deal. And you need to be able to look over the invoice and understand how much they're charging you and where are all the expenses going. So again, if you're ready money-wise, you're ready mental wise, you're grown-ish and you're ready for all the responsibilities of owning a property, then you definitely want to give us a shout here at Selling Toronto. We would be happy to help you. We'll find you the right agent who's going to make sure that your experience is completely positive, you're well informed and educated, and of course with the right experience, knowledge and wisdom to help you get the deal done nicely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for us and uh, turn on the notifications so you know when our next video gets uploaded. Because if you like this amazing content, then we know that other people are gonna like it as well too. So by you engaging with the channel and the page, it's gonna help us get in front of other people and share this information and knowledge with them as well too, if they're in the exact same situation as you. Share the wealth, right guys? So thanks again for watching and bye for now.